Hello everyone, this is Professor May Joan Aguila and I will be discussing about the finer details of the Huns Rule. Huns Rule is one of the guiding rules that we follow when we write down electronic configuration of an atom in the ground state. According to this rule, when we distribute electrons in degenerate orbitals, we need to fill up these degenerate orbitals with one electron each first of parallel spin before we start pairing it up with the opposite spin. Considering the two electrons in the 2p orbital of carbon, following the Huns rule, we can see that the distribution of the two electrons would be as follows. So, one electron on the first 2p orbital and another electron in the second 2p orbital. There are actually two possible ways to fill up the 2p orbitals as illustrated in the diagram. We have in the middle two electrons in two different 2p orbital but one of the electron is actually of opposite spin from the other one. The bottom arrangement shows that both electrons are in the same orbital and following Pauli's exclusion principle, these electrons are of opposite spin. Now, why is it that the top arrangement is the one that we consider as the ground state or the one which has the lowest energy. If we compare the bottom arrangement with that of the middle arrangement, the difference is that the electrons are in one orbital only for the bottom arrangement, but in the middle arrangement, the electrons are in two different 2p orbitals. So that difference will result to a difference in energy as brought upon by the interaction due to charges. So since electrons are negatively charged particles, having them in only one orbital would mean there's an increase in repulsion because of having the same charges. This increase in repulsion is counted as columbic energy of repulsion with the symbol pi c. So between the middle and the bottom arrangement, the middle arrangement is a slightly stable arrangement than the bottom arrangement because in the bottom arrangement there is an increased repulsion so there is an amount of energy equivalent to Pi C. Now, if we compare the middle arrangement with that of the top arrangement, in here the two electrons are in two different 2p orbitals, but in the middle arrangement the electrons are of opposite spin, whereas in the top arrangement the electrons are in parallel spin. Now, the top arrangement is a more stable arrangement because of the interaction due to spin. So the energy difference is due to the spin correlation. So in here, we can think of that the two electrons in the 2p orbital wherein they are arranged in parallel spin they are exchangeable with one another. So for example, if I label this as electron 1 and the second as electron 2, since they are of parallel spin, they are actually able to exchange positions with one another. So now, electron 2 would be in the first 2p orbital and electron 1 would be in the second 2p orbital. So we count that as one 
exchange energy difference or pi e in the middle arrangement there is no exchange that will happen because the electrons are in opposite spin so according to hun's rule the top arrangement is the best arrangement for the two electrons in the 2p orbital because we are minimizing the amount of repulsion if they are in different orbitals so we have lower amount of pi c in this case on the other hand we are maximizing the number of possible exchanges if they are of parallel spin so in here this is a more stable configuration because there's a higher amount of pi e that we can account for the configuration 